Hi, my name is Ken and I have another woodworking project to show you. This is a full-size bass fiddle, homemade. I call it my budget bass. Let me show you what it sounds like here first without any accompaniments so you can hear it clear. Now let's go over how the thing is put together. Like I said in the beginning, you can make this for about a hundred bucks. The tuning pegs up here, those are Fender electric bass tuning pegs. And I bought them off eBay for about 20 bucks and here's what they look like. And they always seem to be available on eBay, about 20 bucks for a set of four. Then the strings, I bought them off eBay. Those are standard full-size bass or three-quarter bass wire wound strings and I bought them in the $20 range and they're always out there and they're brand new. Then moving down the neck we have the nut. That I made out of black walnut. That's just a three-quarter by three-quarter piece of black walnut. The neck and the fingerboard together are two pieces of either oak or maple. In this case it's oak glued together to give you an inch and a half. That then is attached to an L-shaped bracket. This is made out of three pieces of oak and they're sandwiched together like a big piece of plywood so they're really strong. Then the neck goes down to the body here and this body is made out of 2x2 two two pine, standard lumber yard 2x2 two two pine for the frame. The side panels are plywood, quarter inch plywood and then it's trimmed off with corner rounds. I made my own corner round here because those are 45 degree angle. The front panel you can see has the S or the F curves in it. Notice also there's no cutouts here so you can't use a bowl with this base but that's the only drawback otherwise it would hold its own in any bluegrass or country whatever wherever you want to use it. Then moving down we have the bridge and I have one over here and that's a fairly simple thing to make just any scroll saw band saw operation made out of oak or maple. That then connects to the tail piece and I have another one here you can see this is made out of the same material that I used for the neck so I can just use scrap off of that and that's not too big of an operation and that then connects to the bottom and I'm going to lay it down so you can see the bottom a little easier and you can see we have a piece of table leg down here and I've got one here you might be able to see it cleaner here I have a table leg here and that fits in to a pipe flange and notice there's a little groove here, I've got a pipe reducer to give me a little groove here and then returning back down to the base you can see that the cable that holds this tailpiece goes into that groove down here and it's held by cable clamps. Then to haul the thing around we have a carrying handle and that can be held down by either screw eyes or I have used footman loops in my later models. This is a piece of leather belt that I riveted together. And that all put together for about a hundred bucks gives you this full-size upright budget base. And thanks for watching.